Presentations to be a subject of a witch hunt from that member. Question number four, Amy Adams. Uh, my question is to the Minister of Finance. Does he stand by all his announcements, statements and actions? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Grant Roberts. Mr Speaker, yes, in the context in which they were made, given and undertaken. Does he stand by his statements that tax policy should work for the benefit of all New Zealanders, given that today's HIFU figures show that this Labour-led government will be collecting $17.7 .7 billion more tax from New Zealanders over the next four years than was forecast prior to the election, despite growth having slowed. Mr Speaker, the reason that uh, that tax take is happening is because lots of people around New Zealand and lots of businesses around New Zealand are working hard, making profits and ensuring that the economy ticks over. I think it's a sad day when the National Party think that people actually doing well and paying their taxes is a bad thing. Is he aware that today's HIFU figures show that even with growth slowing, that $17.7 .7 billion of extra taxes mean every household will pay nearly $10,000 a year more tax over the next four years than was forecast pre-election? absolutely reject the premise of that question. <laughs> the Minister of Finance. Finance. Minister of Finance, does it follow as night follows day that taxes usually go up when businesses are successful enough and private individuals are successful enough to pay the taxes. That is exactly right, Mr Speaker, and what the books today show, that revenue from corporate tax is going up, that, um, that the contributions that people make through their PAYE is going up. And I want to remind members on the other side of the House that with very few exceptions, this is all under the tax settings that they had in place. Is the Minister aware that today's HIFU numbers show that households' ability to save is getting worse and worse every year under this government as more taxes and higher cost of living or, or take their toll. Can, can I ask people to be quiet? I mean, I, I think people might have assumed that, seeing that there had been two bursts, that the question was finished. So I'll get the member to start a question again, but remind her that questions should not have, as, as Mr Brownlee has pointed out, questions and answers should not have more than is necessary and certainly shouldn't have more than two legs. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Just to understand your ruling, I'm sorry, uh, the question didn't have more than two parts. I paused because of noise from the other side. That wasn't two parts. Is that your concern? I, I, think, I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll start the question again and I will, listen, uh, I will listen carefully to it again. Is the Minister aware that today's numbers show that households' ability to save is getting worse and worse every year under this government as more taxes and higher cost of living take their toll? Mr. Speaker, um, I reject again the premise of the member's I reject again the premise of the member's question. Can we take from today's announcements that the transformational government that this minister says he's leading really means higher taxes, lower growth, and households worse off? Uh, Mr. Speaker, no, we can't take it. What we can take from uh, the books that have been released today is that this government is doing a good job of getting the balance right, where we've got strong, where we've got strong growth, where we've got a surplus, where debt's been kept under control, and we're finally addressing the massive social and infrastructure deficits that her government left us. Right on, Winston Peters. Uh, on the question of capacity to save, is it not a fact that twofold once? The Cullen Fund is saving more now than ever before, and Kiwi Savers with record numbers before that, that are not matched by any previous period in our history. Yes, it's, uh, both of those things are true. And the fact is that this government has turned around what the previous government failed to do, where they did not put in any government contributions to the super fund for order, nine order, years. Order, order. We have had numerous speakers' rulings over the years about. Um, donkey drops to attack the opposition. Question number five, Paul Goldsmith. The Honourable Paul Goldsmith. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to